<sighs> so, hello everybody. What is going on, dudes? It is Cubish Mike here, and welcome back to some more Okami HD. Last time, we went ahead and, uh, well, continued onward through, um, ah, my nose. Continued onward through the Moon Cave, collected a few more things here and there. And now I believe we are just encroaching upon the final, final ingredient to Orochi's appetizer. This time, oh, I wonder, can I get them all? No, I just missed one. I wonder, if I do that and then power slash, oh, that'll definitely do damage. Yeah, but you just won't get the thing, which is fine with me in all honesty. You kind of just have to accept it. Boom. Power slash you. Power slash that. And boom, there we go. I'll take it, it's fine. We got what we need, but yes, I believe we are around the final instrument, or the final item, ingredient, for Orochi's appetizer. Yep. Boom. The black demon horn. A horn to be ground into spice for his appetizer. Nothing more, nothing left. Time to get back to Orochi, or back to Ajimi, I believe it was, and uh, presents all of the rare ingredients he's looking for. Nothing more standing in our way. Fall right to the bottom. And before entering, where are those four? Yes. Let's collect this final treasure. What is our last reward? A golden peach. Hell yeah. We'll definitely take that. No need to worry about it. We'll definitely pick that up. Take us with us to Ajimi to present. Nothing else here, nothing standing in our way. I'm gonna make a little save real quick. It has been quite a while. I definitely did want to save in a new file and now it's time to do this. What do we have here? You brought back more than one of the secret ingredients? Wow, you're good. I just knew you'd make the perfect assistant. It was nothing. Anyways, we're kind of in a hurry. We offered the ogre liver, the lips of ice, the eyeball of fire, and the black demon horn. <laughs> With each ingredient, secret ingredient I had, my love for Lord Orochi shall deepen. Okay, now I'll, I have all the secret ingredients. It's time to finish off my special dish. Feast your eyes on my fabulous skills, darling. With a true heart and tender loving care, I shall prepare a symphony of demonic goodness. He's indeed a juggling master. Ta-ta! Introducing the crown jewel of appetizers. Guaranteed to bring out maximum flavor in any main course. I give you my ultimate masterpiece, Dung Heap Slime Bucket Goulash. This shall make that main course Kushi taste 1,000 times better. Well, we mustn't keep Lord Orochi waiting, sweetheart. Go to the Great Hall and ring the Epicurean bell. That shall herald the completion of my appetizing masterpiece. The sound of that melodious bell shall draw open the curtain of Lord Orochi's bloody feast. Of course we can do that. Is there anything else we can do? I see this board up here, but it doesn't seem like we can reach it no matter what we do. So I guess that's, that's all that there is to it. Nothing more, let's follow the task. Let's call forth Lord Orochi. Let's have a good look at the guy. Here we go. I said, here we go. Rung it three times. Hello. The meal is ready. Let the Epicure bell ring. Let it ring as many times as Lord Orochi's heads. Ringing the bell is normally my job, but seeing how you've been just itching to ring it all this time, I'll let you do the honors. Put your wicked body and evil soul into it. Make it ring out with a wild abandon. So eight times. We need four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. A 
I like how they just don't stop moving. That moved up. I say we join along and see what's happening. Phew! Oh, sure, was stressful. Oh, sure, I see Lord Orochi's throne room. There's something about that place that just terrifies me. Sorry, pal, but would you mind taking this elevator to that throne room again? What? Are you insane? Oh, come on. Please. I mean, I want to take a peek at Lord Orochi's throne room, too. Come on, just this once. But, 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 but. We're, we're just Lord Orochi's lonely underlings. Lord Orochi will surely gobble us up if we barge in during dinner. You really want to see the throne room that bad? You really want to go? Yes, we do. I can see that you won't change your mind. I'll take you to that throne room if you want to go that badly. After all, I was born to operate this elevator. Without any further hesitation, it's time. Here we go. I hope you're ready. Several chests here ready for us to fulfill our astral pouch. Oh, and there's his dinner. <laughs> this appetizer reeks. Let's eat this disgusting thing alone. That order cheese is gonna gobble up poor little Kushi if we don't hurry. Let's go find that big worm. Hey. Ugh. What do you want in a place like this? Now here's a new face. Coming here shows great bravery. Want an offering for Lord Orochi? There's plenty here. Do we do, shall do some shopping to find nothing really new. I mean, some steel soul and fist sakes and a couple things here and there, but nothing of high interest for us. If you were worried about saving, there is a Tory gate for us to pass through. We shall collect all our memories, if needed. Let's not waste any more time. Let's head on up and let's see just exactly what this big worm is up to. All of our battles and training have led us up to this point. Don't worry, Kushi. We're on our way. Mommy, look! Over there! Oh! Kushi! God of the heavens, one hundred years have passed since you imprisoned me here. How is it you have come back after perishing and turning into stone? One hundred years in a cold, stony tomb, you reek of decay. I've heard enough. Bottoms up, big guy. Without much more hesitation, it's time to do battle with Orochi as best as we can. We have to try to avoid the several attacks that is each heads shall do, each of them doing something different. All we can do is hold out as best as we can and see if there's any sort of damage we can do. Which I don't think there's very much to be done. We can bloom these, we can do all that we can but we know that our effects and our works are quite limited. 
You can check out the several different heads and see all that they do, each of their different powers. In hopes of being able to do something. Ugh. Can I gale storm that back? Another one. We can attempt to swing, but they're just too high. Yep. We get caught by one thing. Oh, and it's just endless. Unable to use any of our powers because of these damn little insects, I guess you could say. It's definitely brutal. A bit of an unfair one. Ow! He's even using water. Drowning the area out. He's I believe this is the easiest one to connect with or combat with. Come on! We can get close to the head and attempt to swing. That cheater has a barrier up. What are we gonna do now? Any bread ideas for a ball? Run, Kushi! Run! Hold it right there, vile serpent! Susano! You came. I knew you'd come. Have no fear! Susano is here! Orochi and I have a score to settle. Pops? Long have I awaited your coming, O oh descendant of Nagi. Now we shall fulfill this burning desire which has consumed us. The descendants of Nagi have kept me imprisoned here for 100 years. Yet it is that accursed bloodline which shall unleash my true power. A pact between Nagi's descendants and I, the great Orochi, shall deliver unto me dark powers beyond all comprehension. Let us seal the blood pack for all eternity. What the heck's the serpent breath talking about? A blood pack with Susano will unleash Orochi's true power? Oh, he who seeks power, your first chance slipped through your grasp. But now the time has come for us to de seal our eternal bond. Speak the words, I wish darkness upon the world. Utter that prayer to me, and see our blood pact. You too shall gain dark powers beyond all comprehension. Orichi's trying to tempt Susano. I bet that sneaky serpent was the one giving Pops those nightmares. Now, utter the prayer. Let the words come from deep within. Recite the words of our blood pact. Oh, I shall. <clears throat> I am the descendant of Nag. Behold, Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. Hear me, vile serpent, who would seek to harm a helpless woman. Uh, your time is up. Feel the wrath of my trusty sword. Foolish beast, did you really think you could deceive me? The only pact for me is the one that comes with my bloodline. If it is my fate to fall battling evil, then so be it. I seek help from neither god nor demon. The heroic bloodline of Nagi is all I require to slay you.
glittering gold sake. Is that a purification sake, Ami? Susano and Kushi made a miracle happen. Time to work your magic, Ami. <laughs> 